The Fermi paradox is a thought-provoking conundrum named after the Italian-American physicist Enrico Fermi. It revolves around the apparent contradiction between the high probability of the existence of extraterrestrial civilizations and the lack of evidence or contact with such civilizations. In simpler terms, if there are so many potentially habitable planets in our galaxy and the universe at large, why haven't we encountered any signs of intelligent alien life? To delve deeper into the Fermi paradox, we need to explore several key aspects, including the Drake equation, potential solutions, and various theories and hypotheses that attempt to explain this paradox. So let's embark on this journey of cosmic exploration and seek some understanding. The Drake Equation, formulated by astronomer Frank Drake in 1961, attempts to estimate the number of detectable civilizations in our galaxy. It considers various factors, such as the rate of star formation, the fraction of stars with planets, the number of habitable planets, and the likelihood of life evolving on such planets. While the equation is a useful tool for contemplation, the uncertainty associated with the values of its parameters makes it challenging to arrive at a precise estimation. Despite the vast number of potential civilizations predicted by the Drake equation, our current lack of evidence for extraterrestrial life suggests that something might be hindering our ability to detect or interact with them. This forms the crux of the Fermi paradox. Several potential explanations have been proposed to address this paradox, and we will examine some of them in detail. One possible solution is that intelligent civilizations might be extremely rare. This could be due to the many unique and improbable factors required for the emergence of intelligent life, such as the development of complex organic molecules, the evolution of multicellular organisms, and the eventual emergence of technological intelligence. If the conditions for these events are indeed exceedingly rare, it could explain why we have not yet encountered any other intelligent civilizations. Another possible solution is that intelligent civilizations might be short-lived. Technological advancements can come with risks, such as nuclear weapons or environmental degradation, which could lead to self-destruction. Additionally, the lifespan of a technologically advanced civilization might be limited due to natural disasters, cosmic events, or resource depletion. If civilizations tend to emerge and perish relatively quickly on cosmic timescales, this could explain the absence of contact. Furthermore, it is plausible that we are simply not looking in the right way or at the right place. Our current methods of searching for extraterrestrial life primarily rely on detecting radio signals or searching for biosignatures. However, there could be alternative forms of communication or technology that we are unaware of. Additionally, our observations are limited to a relatively small portion of the galaxy, and there might be civilizations elsewhere that we have not yet encountered. It is also possible that advanced civilizations have chosen not to communicate with us intentionally. This idea, known as the Zoo Hypothesis or Prime Directive, suggests that there might be a galactic community or a set of universal guidelines that prevent advanced civilizations from interfering with less developed ones. If this is the case, we might be deliberately isolated from contact until we reach a certain level of technological or societal maturity. Another intriguing possibility is that there might be a great filter that acts as a barrier to the development or longevity of civilizations. The Great Filter could be a crucial step in the evolution of life or the emergence of intelligent civilizations that is exceptionally difficult to overcome. It could be a hurdle that most civilizations fail to pass, thereby explaining the apparent absence of advanced extraterrestrial life. The Great Filter could lie behind us, implying that we have successfully navigated through the challenges to reach our current state. Alternatively, it could be ahead of us, suggesting that a significant obstacle awaits us in our future. If the Great Filter lies ahead of us, it raises concerns about the future of humanity and the potential dangers that await us. This scenario suggests that the emergence of advanced civilizations is rare because most civilizations fail to overcome the challenges posed by the Great Filter. Some possible candidates for the Great Filter include the development of intelligent life itself, the transition from unicellular to multicellular organisms, the emergence of complex societies, or even the development of advanced technology. If the Great Filter lies in our future, it raises unsettling questions. Are we on the brink of encountering this filter? Could it be related to the destructive potential of our technological advancements, such as the risks associated with artificial intelligence, climate change, or nuclear weapons? The possibility of a future Great Filter necessitates careful consideration of our actions and choices as a civilization. Another potential explanation for the Fermi paradox is that advanced civilizations might exist, but they are simply not interested in communication or exploration beyond their own planetary systems. 
It is conceivable that they have reached a stage where they have transcended physical limitations and have no desire for expansion or interaction with other civilizations. Such civilizations might be fully engrossed in virtual realities or have evolved into non-biological forms, rendering traditional modes of communication obsolete. Additionally, the vast distances between stars and the limitations of faster-than-light travel could be significant obstacles to interstellar communication or travel. Even with advanced technology, the immense scales of the universe make it challenging for civilizations to encounter one another. It is possible that while there are numerous civilizations out there, the vastness of space and the limitations of our current technology prevent meaningful contact or exploration. Furthermore, it is worth considering the possibility that we might have already received signals or evidence of extraterrestrial civilizations, but we have not recognized or interpreted them correctly. Our understanding of the cosmos is still limited, and we may be overlooking subtle or unconventional forms of communication or signs of intelligent life. The existence of unidentified aerial phenomena, UAP, or unexplained phenomena on Earth has sparked speculation about potential extraterrestrial encounters, although concrete evidence remains elusive. In addition to these explanations, it is essential to acknowledge the limitations of our own technological capabilities and observational reach. Our current methods of searching for extraterrestrial life, such as radio telescopes and space probes, have only covered a fraction of the galaxy and the universe. As technology advances and our exploration efforts expand, we may increase our chances of discovering evidence of extraterrestrial civilizations. Ultimately, the Fermi paradox remains an open question with various possible explanations. It is a topic of ongoing scientific inquiry and speculation. Solving this paradox requires a multidisciplinary approach, incorporating fields such as astronomy, biology, physics, sociology, and philosophy. Continued exploration of space, advancements in technology, and a deeper understanding of the conditions required for the emergence and sustainability of intelligent life will contribute to our quest for answers. While we await concrete evidence or a definitive resolution to the Fermi paradox, contemplating this thought-provoking puzzle ignites our curiosity about our place in the universe, the nature of life, and the future of humanity.